If something is wrong, say something, do something. Put it in an envelope so we can help solve these murders. Getting more input from the public to solve crime in the state's largest city. Well, who knows more about what happens on their streets than the people who call the neighborhood home? The short answer is nobody. Yeah, now the Bridgeport Police is out with a new tool to make it easier for local residents to share critical information. News 8's Ali Reed spoke directly with police about their plan of attack. If you see something, say something. We hear that phrase a lot, but here in Bridgeport, residents tell us reporting a crime can mean putting your life or your family's life at risk. So they stay silent. A lot of folks are afraid to call on the phone. And once you call on the phone, they know exactly where you're at and who you are. And so this here takes all of it out. Clyde Nicholson came up with a safe way for residents to come forward and stop the cycle of violence. It's called TIPS, Trustworthy Information for Public Safety. This is where citizens can help their neighbors become safer. The citizen-funded effort allows residents to truly report a crime anonymously by writing what they see on a piece of paper, putting it in a TIPS envelope, and dropping it in a mailbox. It's easy, free, and untraceable. You can pick up any of these tips envelopes at any libraries or major grocery stores in Bridgeport. All you have to do is read the back. There are a few questions you have to answer. Drop it in the mailbox. The postage is already paid for you, so you don't have to worry about that. A tips coordinator at the police department receives them. Parents who know what it feels like to bury a child hope residents who are afraid to speak won't be afraid to write. You never, ever forget it. And people just walk around letting these guns and drugs take over, and it's hurting our community, and we need it to stop. Whatever it takes, we need it to stop. In Bridgeport, Allie Reed, News 8. And in today's online poll question, we want to know, would you mail in a crime tip? 66% say yes, 33% say no. You can still weigh in by coming to our website, WTNH.com. And if you want to talk about this issue, just call our Voice of the People hotline at 203-212-WTNH.